Ever since the interest in pellet grills really started to take off since 2010, there has been an accusation made by some that pellet grills cannot actually grill. In other words, the claim is that pellet grills cannot get the grate to high enough temperatures to properly sear food for it to be regarded as being grilled. So what's the truth of the matter? Mm. Are pellet grills just a grill by name, but not nature? No, pellet grills can actually grill. Yeah. However, the grilling performance of pellet grills does vary, and some models will indeed need a helping hand to improve their grilling performance. Over at pellheat.com with our database, you can review and compare every pellet grill currently on the market, and you can specify specific features, such as direct flame access, which we'll discuss in this video. First off, I should start by clarifying what grilling actually means mm -hmm. and the heat requirements at the grate to be able to properly grill foods. The definition of grilling relates to cooking food over a high temperature direct heat. The scientific process is the Maillard reaction, which is a chemical process where amino acids and sugars within the food change to produce the brown appearance and the distinctive flavor. The question that remains then is what temperature is sufficient for proper grilling to take place? Well, the Maillard reaction will start at around 300 degrees Fahrenheit. However, for grilling, you want a great surface temperature higher than this so you can properly grill your food without overcooking it and drying it out. Therefore, it's generally acknowledged you want a great surface temperature in excess of 500 degrees at least for proper grilling to take place. Let's get this discussion back onto pellet grills. The best place to start is with Traeger, the brand that invented the concept of a pellet grill back in 1985. The Traeger pellet grill range has a maximum temperature setting of either 450 or 500 degrees. Factor in the thin wire grates found on some models and their grilling performance is not ideal out of the box. However, it's not as if Traeger is the only pellet grill brand that this issue applies to. Z Grills is another well-known brand whose models have similar limitations. So, what's the solution? Well, there are two. First, to increase the great surface temperature, you need a great material that is better able to hold onto heat to get to a higher temperature for good grilling. This is where grill grates have become a popular solution. They are interlocking hard anodized aluminum panels that can, in some cases, provide a surface temperature up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit higher than that of the original cooking surface of the grill. The second complementary solution is to make sure you are using pellets that provide the best heat output possible. For instance, while pellet flavors such as applewood provide great flavor while smoking, they will produce less heat output than, say, oak pellets when it comes to grilling. However, for the maximum heat output for grilling from a pellet barbecue, you can use 100% charcoal pellets, which will provide a notable heat boost even over oak pellets. When it comes to pellet grills that many people will acknowledge can actually grill straight out of the box, even with standard oak pellets, you have several models from Pit Boss and Camp Chef among others. You may wonder why, well, several of their models have a feature called direct flame access, as I discussed earlier in the video in reference to selectable options in our Pell Heat database. Whereas all Traeger models to date have a solid grease tray, certain models from Pit Boss, Camp Chef, and others either have grooves that open up to let the flames through, or they have a removable section in the grease collector. As you would imagine, with direct flame access, the great surface temperature will typically get hotter than a pellet grill without the feature. The grate will get up to around 650 degrees Fahrenheit, which is sufficient for good grilling performance. Pit Boss does claim up to 1000 degrees, but that's a bit ambitious. While direct flame access does provide great grilling performance, it can potentially increase the risk of a grease fire if the grease tray is not cleaned frequently enough. However, there are certain pellet grills, such as several models from Rectech, which have a temperature range of up to 700 degrees without having to rely on direct flame access for good grilling performance. So in conclusion, yes, pellet grills are actually grills. However, some models may need the helping hand of some grill grates and some charcoal pellets to provide sufficient grilling performance. If you are on the lookout for a pellet grill or dedicated pellet smoker, please Google Pell Heat to check out our database. Whatever your budget or requirements, you can tailor the results of the database to find a pellet barbecue that's right for you. For instance, if you so wish you can reduce the results of the database to only show pellet grills with direct flame access. Alternatively, you can use the custom search builder to only show pellet grills with a high temperature setting in excess of 500 degrees, with or without direct flame access. Have fun.